Welcome everybody to Banana Bear Trades. My name is Goose, and today I am here to show you how I set up my Quan Tower, my trading chart setup. Um, I like to run three different charts. Um, I have a five minute chart that's a footprint chart. It has my volume profile and delta at the bottom. And then I have a one minute chart. This is my execution chart, the chart that I'm looking at to place my entries and I'll watch that shorter time frame type stuff. And then finally, the last chart I have on my screen is usually a daily one hour or 15 minute chart. I have all three actually, and I'll just cycle back and forth between all of them. I don't need them all open at the same time. Um, but I like to have a longer time frame chart to show me where we're at in the day, how things are moving, what's the trend. Um, and it's always nice to just have a longer time frame view of the markets. This is where I'll mark out my consolidation zones, my levels of interest, supply and demand, all that sort of stuff. So let's go ahead and get started and we'll start off with the first chart. What you're going to do is you're going to come to the top of your quant tower here. You're going to have this bar. Um, come here and click on this chart button. And it'll pull up a chart. What you're going to want to do is type in the symbol that you're using. I personally trade ES. So you'll want to type in ES and click the correct contract for me, my rhythmic um, provider, which I'm not a big fan of rhythmic, but that's what I'm using right now. Rhythmic has a front month for ES where it just auto rolls for you. I always select that. So we'll go with that and we're going to move it up here to the top left of our or it's just going to take up the whole left side of our screen what i'm going to want to do now is switch this to five minutes okay five minutes one month of the one month shows how much data back it goes you can change that depending on the computer you may or may want not want to load less amount of data that'll help your computer load a little faster if you're trading on a potato I usually do one minute because I'm usually not looking that far back. Okay, so we have our five minute chart. Now what you're going to want to do is right click your screen, go to volume analysis and show toolbar. Okay, this will bring up all your tools that you can use in Quan Tower. Now depending on your provider, if you use AMP, you get all of these for free if you're using rhythmic like you're doing an apex combine for streaming purposes i have the apex combine up here because i don't want to show you guys anything from my real account because then you could hack me and i'd be poor for the rest of my life and that would be sad so yeah streaming purposes i'm showing you apex stuff so you can't hack me but yeah Apex, you actually, you'll have to pay for, depending on like what you want to use, like volume analysis or power trades or book map, whatever. But other providers like AMP, they'll give you all of these features for free if you have an account with them. So just make your choice, do whatever you want. Does not bother me any. So what we're going to do now, we got the toolbar here at the bottom. We're going to click on cluster. We're going to enable it. We're going to go up here to type and we're going to change it to imbalance. Okay. So this is going to show you, we'll zoom in here, the numbers of <coughs> buyers and sellers at each price in the five minute candle. Now we're not done yet. So what we're going to want to do is click on the settings button. We're going to want to come over here come down and I like to click highlight zeros. This is a part of my strategy that I use. We'll change our text color to black. We'll come here and we'll change the highlight to bright white and remember to change your opacity to 100. Now, anytime that there is no more buyers at a level or no more sellers at a level, it'll be highlighted for us and we can see it. The reason I like to highlight it is because I don't usually watch these numbers specifically. Normally I have it zoomed out just a little bit to get a bigger view of the market. But as long as the zeros are highlighted or the unfinished auctions are highlighted, which are the green, then 
I have an idea of what's going on. You know, if there's a finished auction at the top of a level, I'll, you know, know that there's no more sellers or buyers at that level. And that'll be a different video. But for now, this is what we do. This is how you get your cluster set up. But we're going to add two more things to this chart. We're going to go to right profile at the bottom here. We are going to select today and unselect 15 minutes. And this is going to be our volume profile on the right of our chart. You can select current week or current month, whatever volume profile you prefer doing. I make mostly intraday trades. So I like to use the daily volume profile. Sometimes I will pull up the monthly. It takes a little longer to load, so be careful. Um, sometimes I'll pull up the monthly to get different POCs or major levels of consolidation. But for here, I just mark or click the uh, today volume profile, and that's what we'll be using on this chart. It may take a moment to load. So yeah, then. The last thing that we want on this chart here is we're going to want to do time statistics. You click here at the bottom, you go and select what you want on the bottom. I prefer to have delta and trade volume on my chart. We'll go ahead and enable it. And now they're going to appear on the bottom. So this is showing you your trade volume and your delta at each candle. Whether you not have positive delta, negative delta, you'll be able to use this to identify trends. And I do apologize, the right profile is not showing up. I am not sure why it's not showing up. This is probably more of a data issue. Yeah, there it is. So we're having a little bit of data lag issue this morning. This may or may not happen, but as you can see, we're just missing all this data from right here. If I refresh the chart, right click, come down, refresh. Maybe it'll show up. It does not. That's lame. That's on Rhythmic. Another reason I don't like using Rhythmic is because we run into issues like this all the time. My personal account is traded with AMP. I never seem to have problems with my AMP data. With Rhythmic, I feel like I have problems every other day. So oh, just forewarning you for anyone doing combines or whatnot, Rhythmic seems to have these data problems a lot. It's not your issue with Quantower. Quantower is just a charting platform, right? The data is coming from Rhythmic. So there you go. So now we're going to set up our one minute chart. Our cluster chart is complete. We got Delta, we got numbers, we got volume profile. Now we're going to come back up here to the left, click on chart. We're going to move this one to the top right of our screen. We're going to select our contract that we want to trade one minute. And on this one, I usually don't have too much selected, but we'll go ahead and right click. <clears throat> Excuse me. We will go to volume analysis, show toolbar. And I like to have VWAP on this one. So I go over here and select the daily. The daily is the most commonly used VWAP. So that's the one I use because if no one else is looking at it, why would it trade, right? However, a lot of people do watch VWAP. So a lot of people trade VWAP. The other thing I like to have on this chart is opening range or initial balance. So initial balance is the first hours high and low of our regular trading session or the New York session. So what I'm going to go here, do here is I'm going to click indicators, go to add indicator and type in opening range, opening range, one hour opening range and initial balance are the same thing. Just forewarning you. I'm going to change this to my opening time. So my time zones opening time is 830 a.m. Central. So I'm in Kansas, so Central Standard Time to 9.30 a.m. This will show me, this will automatically plot the high and low of the first hour of the day. 
So I don't want the data source. That just takes that label off. And then same thing, I don't like having the light line markers. The line markers are the numbers showing up on your axis. I think they're kind of in the way. So I just take those off. So I just have the lines being plotted because I know what my lines are. I don't need um, anything telling me what they are. So now you will see yesterday's opening range or initial balance is automatically plotted for me. And then when the new day comes around, because I am currently filming this at 6.51 AM, so it's not market open yet. When the new open starts, it'll start plotting it and it will plot that first hour of the day's high and low. So there's that chart. Here's my one minute chart. Like I said, I watch this chart mainly for my execution and for my levels. Now the last chart we're going to do is our longer time frame chart. So I'm actually going to have three charts on this one right here. So I'm going to type ES, which is our time or our contract. Sorry, it's early in the morning for me. And I want this one to be a 15 minute chart. Apply. And now I have a longer time frame chart, a one minute chart, and I have my cluster chart or my footprint, as some like to call it. Now what I want to do before I add my other two charts on here, I'll show you this quick thing is we want to link all of these charts together so that when you draw on this chart, it shows up on this chart and on this chart. So you just go to view here, you right click it, click on settings and drawing default availability, change that to all charts with the same layout or same symbol. I mean, do that and you will want to do that for every single part that you want those drawings to appear on. So again, we'll go over here to default drawing ability, availability. I said that so wrong. I apologize. It's early. And again, settings default availability. And there we go. Now when I draw, we go over here to the left, get your drawing tool out. When I draw on here, it appears on every single chart. That's really nice. One reason I really like Quant Tower. I know other platforms have that too, but so. Now what I wanna do is I wanna add my one hour and my daily chart also. So we're gonna go up, go up here to chart and click. We're gonna bring up ES. Double click it. And we're gonna change this to one hour. And there we go. Now we have a one hour chart and how you get these together is you just go hover it till this turns blue. Bam. And now you have tabs, right? So you can switch back and forth between all your tabs. We'll add one more which is our daily. So we'll go down here and we will click one day. And usually for your daily chart, you'll wanna have more than one month of daily levels because it's only gonna show you 30 bars. So I usually like to have three to five years selected. And then we'll go ahead and hit apply. And then bang, there's our daily chart. Right now you can go start drawing some longer term levels and just highlight that, put that on there. And now you have th three different tabs of longer time frame stuff that you can switch through. If you have more screens or more space, you can do that. However, for me streaming, it's really convenient to have everything on one screen so I can show the people. So yeah, I, this is how I set up my screen throughout the day. Again, I do apologize for the lack of data to the left here. That's really inconvenient. That's a rhythmic problem. Not the biggest fan of rhythmic. I do prefer my amp, but when I trade amp, if I was pulling up these charts, there's a good chance that um, my account information shows up and I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna show you my account information. So. I could block it out, but that's too much work. I'm just gonna clip this out of a stream. I'm currently live streaming right now while I'm filming this. One other thing I will show you real quick, and I don't care if you see this part of it. You click this button here to bring up your trade. You can set up your brackets. 
You can click mouse trading if you want to click buy or sell or show your toolbar down there. Just one last little trick that you can do. I usually have this one open when I execute trades just so it's in the middle here and I have the whole bar because you can see the whole thing. Is if you click it over here, then you have to scroll and that's just inconvenient. So I like to have it right here in the middle. But if I'm just watching or just streaming, I just have it open like this. So there we go. That is how I set up my charts. If you guys have any questions, leave comments down below. Um, or if you have more immediate questions, come join me on stream every morning, 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. CST. I stream those two hours pre-market. Um, and what we talk about, we just talk about our previous day and our prior day plans, what we plan on doing this day, any market news information, or we just go over trading setups or stuff like this. So come hang out and we'll see you next time.